Get them, spin them, unless I'm shooting a dental. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? If it ain't really all over my face. I don't know what to tell you guys, but I will tell you this, and I'm gonna say this again. You guys already know how I feel about this website, okay? I love them so much. Like, their wigs are bomb. Some people probably might think that, you know what I'm saying, their prices are a little bit too pricey or a little bit steep for them, but honey, you get what you pay for. You know, I always saved the best for last. I did two videos prior to this. This is the one that I plan on keeping on because I love them so much. I'm gonna just jump into how your wig is gonna come from RPGshow.com. When you receive your package from RPGshow.com, you will receive their black standard box, which says bold and sexy hair. As well as that, the box will inform you that the hair is 100% Indian virgin hair. And you'll also receive a wig cap, some conditioner, which will smooth, moisten, and soften the hair. The unit that I was sent is the 20 inch Yaki Glueless Full Lace. And the name of this unit is Brianna. The color is as pictured and it is a tinted transparent Swiss lace in the color medium brown. This unit is gorgeous straight out of the box. She is absolutely gorgeous and full. Chestnut brown color that has been dyed onto this unit is actually really pretty. There were no brassy tones when I received this wig, so there really wasn't anything for me to do but just place her on and style her. As you guys can see, the ends are super healthy and this unit is just ready to wear straight out of the box. Your unit will come with a pre-sewn black elastic band in it, which you can easily adjust to your liking. And as I stated, this is a glueless full lace wig, which means you can part her or braid her or style her anywhere in the unit. As you guys can tell, the lace has been tinted and is so transparent that you will forget that you're wearing a wig. And the knots in this unit are actually really nice and neat looking. So there isn't any bleaching required. Make sure you check out rpgshow.com. They have loads of wigs, and I'm pretty sure there's something there for everyone. I'll leave all of their information below. So what I got is a glueless full lace wig, okay? I didn't really have to do nothing at all but press her. I put her on the left side because that's where I wanted the part to be. So you see all of this here in the middle. Now you could definitely still part it because there aren't any tracks on this unit. But you can get her in a lace front too if that's what you want to do, okay, boo? I didn't have to bleach anything. I did pre-pluck a little bit of the hairline. The knots are really good in this unit. You already know this is like the best transparent lace ever like girl it is so transparent you will forget you wearing a wig boo they already um have an elastic band sewn in for you which is great the one good thing about theirs is it's not so bulky on the side versus the one that have like the bra hooks up here where you can detach them those things always seem like they're so bulky and you have to remove them so girls i'm gonna cut the back off and then we're gonna go ahead and put this baby on okay you guys so we're just gonna get into this i I am so excited about putting this unit on but the one thing that I'm super not excited about is the fact that I did not realize I had a UV filter on my lens for the past two and a half three years which I did need to remove and clean it's just a protective lens and it does make a difference which you will see in part two of this video so I did kind of combine two portions in this video because I really felt like after finding this out that I should just re-record and just show you guys some things that I did not show. So I am going to be using my eyebrow trimmer to cut the lace. This lace is super soft. It's really easy to remove. And the one thing that I will tell you guys, 
you do need to make sure that you are looking directly at the lace because it's so transparent you may actually honestly cut the hairline so be careful if you're not experienced with an eyebrow trimmer try to use a pair of scissors I'm just saying I'm not a licensed and I'm not a professional and I'm definitely not you know really good with an eyebrow trimmer but I can do a little bit so just to part my hair I'm just going to be using my rat tail comb and I'm going to be taking that bed head hairspray and I will be spraying it underneath along with that some of it on my skin and also in between the part you don't need baby hairs or sideburn hairs but I do like to do this step only because it will allow me to adhere my wig if you don't have a blow dryer I would highly suggest spraying your hairspray in small sections and allowing it to dry and I just take my rat tail comb and I press into the lace my setting for the blow dryer is definitely on cool however this has many different settings so I can also use a medium heat with this and it will not scorch or burn my skin and I'm just going to repeat the same steps on both sides interested in knowing how I really feel about this bedhead hairspray is comparison to my favorite which is the got to be glam force I would kind of say they're basically almost the same you would probably get at least one or two days extra hold with the bedhead but then but then again that all depends on your body chemistry I will say that the bedhead does hold down the sideburn hairs a little bit more than the actual got to be but as you see it's definitely stuck but I would say that they both are kind of like very similar but you also have to keep in mind like I said it does depend on your body chemistry so as you guys see this hairline is bomb as hell okay your girl is happy hey what I tell you guys about RPG show they might be a little bit pricier than some websites but girl, they seriously will have you forget that you have on a wig, okay? You be out there in them streets looking too cute, thinking you too cute, knowing you too cute, flossing your hair, slinging it back and forth, and forget you got on a wig, girl. So I'm just saying, if you're going to do it big, just get you a good wig, okay? At least once. This wig will last you for quite a while, especially with their... Um, quality you know they have come a very far away so I give it to RPG show they do have some bomb wig now just to sculpt my sideburn hairs I'm just gonna be using my Dollar Tree salon selective style moves this stuff has been working for me forever so I don't you know I mean I do have other mousses but I'm just saying for a dollar if it works then you know why spend more and I have noticed with some of the got to be styling mousse that when you are applying it to your edges it will kind of lift your wig up so I just figured go back to what you know which is only for a dollar for a dollar make me holla hey and this wig is gorgeous like look at her she's so cute I'm feeling I'm just gonna take my hot comb and just press it out a little bit more I'm definitely going to have to fix the part only because my braid was in the way so in that one area it was not laying directly flat but this color is making me feel myself like seriously the color has my skin color popping it has my freckles popping I like to wear this wig when I don't have any makeup on especially because it makes my complexion look a little bit darker but it really brings out my freckles so I'm loving this color I think like I want to say this is my favorite from RPG show but then I have my blondish one too from them so I kind of think that they're both like my favorites I, I really can't complain about any of the wigs video i wanted to see if this hair will curl and how easy to curl so i was gifted a chi hot curler by chi as well as octoly.com you guys know i love octoly they have some really amazing items all you need to do in return is just do an unbiased honest review if you are a beauty influencer or a vlogger or just any type of youtuber or instagrammer or whatever you can definitely check octoly out this is the chi lava and it is a one and a half inch volume man volcanic lava ceramic curling iron it does go up to 450 degrees and i actually use this 
twice prior to this video. It does come with a stand so that way your surface does not get hot. It also has the actual plastic tip. I do like this because you can actually hold the hot comb or the hot curler without burning your hand. I'm not that great with curling hair so I do tend to gravitate to holding the bottom just so I can have a sturdy hand. And all you have to do is just press this button right here and you will see it flash. And once it stops flashing, that means that hot curler is ready to use. So I'm gonna just put mine up to 450. I will show you some other products that they did send along with the hot curler for me to use. I actually did use this to apply a wig and it did hold. It does give you probably like a two day hold. Chi Iron Guard 44 Style and Stay. This is a firm holding spray and it will hold your hair, your wig down as well. But if you want like a good day or two hold, you don't want the wig on for that long, for that long, then this one is a good product to use. Plus it has a lock mechanism on the back so that way the nozzle doesn't get clogged and it also just doesn't spray all over the place. Then they also did send me their Enviro 54 hairspray, which just gives, you know, a hold level of three. But we're going to use this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a whole bunch of curls in it, but I'm definitely, because I like to wear yakky hair straight, let's get into it. So guys, we're going to take this hairspray by Chi and this big one and a half inch barrel curler and we are going to get to styling some of this hair. I really didn't want to keep it curl or style it curl because I do like to wear it straight, but I wanted to see how well the hair curls. Now with this particular hair, I have realized you will definitely need to pin it after you curl it. That way it will stay, it will curl, it will set as cool. So for a thicker hair texture, when once you're curling it, make sure you have like some type of clips, some pins just to pin the hair up and hold the curl in place. It doesn't have to be for long, it can be for about 10 minutes, you know, depending on how you feel, but definitely once you finish curling it and you've removed the curling iron, make sure you put a couple of pins in that so that way the curls will set. And this definitely has to do with thicker hair. The hair curls easily, but you definitely will need to, you know, pin it. I'm loving the color. The Chi curling iron is really easy to use. We do need to get used to tools, so I'm kind of not used to it yet. I know I could do a much better job versus right now because this is all new to me with this tool, but I'm really liking it. I like the fact that it has two stands, one at the end and top, so that way you can hold on to it while you're curling it, as well as it will not burn any type of furniture surfaces, but I would still highly recommend just leaving something or settling something down underneath your hot curler when you're using it. They let somebody do that. I keep it waving, no do that. I'm just my damn sick of the flu ass. Sit that nigga with my sister, nigga, I'm from Zoom at. Shoot first, you know they don't shoot back. Uh, you like a soldier in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. This hot curler does curl really well, but because the hair is so textured, you'll definitely have to pin it after you hot curl it in order for it to hold a curl. But I did use it on like my more silkier hair and it just curled really quickly. I like it straight like this. I just wanted to see how it will work out. For the most part, you guys already know how I feel about RPG show. Like this wig is bomb as hell. You cannot see the lace, girl, I'm saying it. Plus, the color is really pretty. I love this color a lot. This this wig is gorgeous. Okay, I told you guys, RPG show be having the bombest wigs. Y'all know it's tax season, so go ahead and get you a nice wig, girl. The color is gorgeous. It did not come brassy at all. Didn't even wash it yet. You don't even need no baby hairs if you don't want any. You could part it anywhere. You could put braids all up in this. Girl, you could have a cornrow all the way to the back of your neck if you want to. You will forget you wearing a wig, girl, okay? As far as the cheek, they do have different size options available. I went for the biggest one because I wanted just to come back and show you guys the wig again because I really honestly felt like I was so used to my old setup where my monitor was at on the left of me. I was kind of like out of my element. I kept looking over to the right. It just kind of like really threw me off. The wig, I have had it on for three days now and I just wear an elastic band. You can buy it at any craft store or Walmart. I just tie that around my head opposed to a scarf. The actual elastic, it's not going to give you like a headache because it stretches. So it's still 
holds into place. Now, the one thing that I think is really important with this particular wig, it doesn't have to be with every wig, but with this particular one, because it is light in color, you will need to wear like a wig cap, especially if you want that scalp look, I would advise you guys to wear a wig cap. What I had to do, because I really wanted you to see the part, I just put a little bit of my foundation in the parts, and I'm gonna just redo that again for you guys. But honestly, for RPG shows wigs, you really don't need to use foundation or pressed powder because the lace is really transparent. The one thing that I like about this wig the most is the fact that when I wear it without my makeup, it makes my color, my complexion, my freckles pop. So I'm just gonna show you guys real quick what it looks like curled. I did try to curl it on camera the other day. Kind of have to get used to new tools or just new things in general. For this particular texture, I think that the curl should be a little bit tighter so that way it can hold a lot better. I'm gonna use this one, which is a one inch barrel. The reason why it has waves and crimps in it or waves in it is because at night I do put two cornrow styles in the hair. So now that I've come back the following days, which is three days later, I just wanted to show you guys how it looks really quick, cornrow, because this is how I like to wear it. And the funny thing is the lens, the UV lens rays is still on the camera. I kind of like fix the settings somewhat in the quality, but you will see it get much more clearer once I show you how it looks curled. But this is just one of the options that you can do with the glueless full lace, but you can also do this with a lace front. You just need to kind of like twerk it, finesse it, you know, kind of like put your spin on it. But I love wearing cornrows in my lace wigs. but I do like to wear them cornrows like this. So we're about to move on to curling this wig. Okay, you guys, final step. I'm not gonna keep you guys for longer than I already have. So I'm just gonna be using my new me for this go around because I'm so used to just curling the her hair around. And that's why I wanted to come back and show you guys how well it will curl. I do love the chi, I just gotta get used to it. But for right now, I wanted to show you guys. And I'm definitely going to finish the rest off camera because I think I've kept you guys longer than I need to. And here is the final look. And also the final look of me finally figuring out that I had a filter over my lens for all this time. Okay, so first of all, let me just say this, okay? I am definitely not tech savvy when it comes to like camera equipment or any of that stuff, okay? Now let me tell y'all. I've been sitting here at this monitor, like why is it looking kinda not sharp enough? Like the quality of the picture is not looking sharp enough. I'm not sure if it's because where I move my camera, I'm not really sure. Or is it because I need my glasses? Am I going blinder? lashes like obstructing my view I said let me look at my lens because maybe it needs to be clean I realized after like two years of applying this filter two years ago I had applied this UV filter onto my camera lens this is basically just to protect your camera lens this has been on my lens for probably about two two and a half three years now and I totally forgot about it so once I remove this now the video is sharper and crisp now that I'm more focused and the color is even brighter because the lens filter is off she does curl really easy she's beautiful I really am enjoying this wig and it's a really low maintenance unit I'm glad I came back to do this video redo it over because I really wanted you guys to see the detail and I wasn't too happy with how my recording made me feel days prior. All of the information will be down below. I love you guys. I got to go do another video and I will see you soon in a soon to come video. Get them, spin them, but let's see my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.